Kawhi Club Online Mini Sock Donut. Morning tweens. Today we're going to be making donuts out of baby socks. In your kit you'll have one baby sock, one square of felt, some paint, a pot of glue, that's the white stuff in your pot, and three toothpicks for doing your decorations. You'll need a pair of scissors to complete this. All right, to begin with, put everything away except for your baby sock. You're going to start with the toe end, and you're going to trim the very tip of the toe off with your scissors, like that. And if you have elastic at the edge of the top of your sock, you're going to want to trim that off too. Some of the socks have them, some of them don't. Depends on which one you got in your kit. All right, after that's done, you can discard the trimmings. Now, starting at the toe end, you're going to start rolling it inside out to make your donut shape. Like that, keep rolling until you get to the outer edge of the top of the sock. When you get to this point, you can um, shape the ring, the donut, into um, whatever shape you like. You might want to try and make the hole nice and big. Some of you like a, a tighter circle. It just depends on how you want it to look. And there's the bottom. If you like, you can put some glue on top to hold it in place, but that's not necessary. Um, because we're going to be gluing the felt in over top. That's just an option. All right. Got my sock positioned the way I like. There's the glue. If I want to reinforce that at that point, I can. All right. To cut out your icing, you're going to position your sock on your felt just to eyeball the size there and what you might need. And you can kind of trim around the square to make a blob shape just to get the right size at first and I'm not worrying about um, what my edges look like I'm kind of deliberately making bulges in it so that it'll look more like icing so I'm just trimming that out All right, now I'm gonna check and see, yeah, that's about the right size right there. Now I'm gonna uh, neaten up the edges, make them look more like um, icing that has dripped on the donut. It should almost look like a flower. All right, that looks good. Now to make your hole in the center. I'm just going to fold over the felt and cut a little semicircle out of the middle. A little half circle there. And that gives me the hole in the middle. Now I can position it the way I like. That looks good there. And I'm going to get out my glue. Now my glue is here is clear because I used an old bottle that I had uh, lying around the library. And for this part, you might want to put down a piece of paper in case you get any drips. Uh, but the glue you'll have in your uh, kit will be white. So I'm going to take my first toothpick and I'm going to use that to apply my glue. Be sure to use plenty of glue to keep your sock in place and to keep your felt on top. It's hard to see here since I used a clear glue, but I'm really coating it on there thick. Keep it in place. That'll keep your sock rolled up and it'll keep your felt icing in its proper spot. All right. 
position my icing on there. Now there might be some of the edges that I want to glue down. Like that. Just fussing with it, making sure that I have lots of good glue coverage. Now you're going to want to let this dry for a little bit, you know, a good 10-15 minutes before you move on to the next step. It'll just make the next step easier. Now next you're going to want to put your start on your decorations. So since I didn't let my glue dry, it's going to fuss, I'm going to have to fuss with it a little bit by holding down my felt using the black paint to make a, uh, make a cute little face. So, now in your kits you'll have fabric puff paint, so it might puff up a little bit as it dries, depends on how much you use. There we go. Make sure I have good coverage there. Now we've got a cute little face. Now I'm going to add some sprinkles. I've got two more colors here. I've got green and yellow. And to add the sprinkles, I, I just get my end of my toothpick covered really well. And then I'm just going to lay it kind of flat against the felt to make a neat little sprinkle shape. Sprinkles are kind of scattered all over the place on a donut, so it doesn't have to be any particular pattern. Now hopefully your fabric will be a little more sturdy since you let it dry, the glue dry. But you can see mine's wiggling. going to do some yellow sprinkles. And for this one, I'm just doing the other end of my glue toothpick so we don't waste. Adding some yellow. Looks good. A little bit more there. There we go. And now we have a cute little donut. This is another one that I made uh, earlier when I was trying it out. And um, this one I put eyelashes on the eyes. So I thought you might want to see that kind of variety in the face. All right. Enjoy, tweens.